So this is uh, Will Baxter from Solar Community, uh, solarcommunity.com, here to get my battery and my solar working. So, Will, uh, how many of these do you do, and how do they get hold of you? Uh, they can get our phone number. I believe it's 1-800-SOLAR-NRG, or go to the website at uh, solarcommunity.com. All right. Are you putting in a lot? Yes, sir. We're covered up. 80 hours a week? 80 hours a week. All right. Even Sundays sometime. Yeah. Your wife loves that, I'm sure. She does. <laughs> All right. But then you could turn it back on and <coughs> figure it out. Whatever. So, so three, you, three fuse boxes up top. Yeah, the big fuse boxes up top. Okay. Uh, and all that's piped down to here, which is your, we call main disconnect. So, and there's uh, two strings. Everything's combined into two strings. You've got two pipes coming in the gutter. And it's, there's a fuse <coughs> in each one of these. And I believe they're 80 amp fuses, I think. I think. So, and then obviously this goes into the charge controllers in the, the shop here. So you have to cut it off here to get up there to do the fuses? Uh, n no, there's more fuses on the inverter that you could cut off as well. So, but if, if for some reason the garage was locked here, you have an off switch. I mean, this will just, you know, shut it down. Shut the PV down anyways. Solar through here, up here, and you have, again, breakers for your solar. Okay. So, if you, you know, for instance, if you need to isolate a string for some reason, you can click them off, individual ones. And the solar is then fed into your charge controller, which is here. So you can see in 72 volts, 37 amps, out, 54 volts, 47 amps. Now, is there a way to check the battery charge from here? Like what? The state, well, this is a good indication of the state of charge, 54. So if you see this ever drop below 48, your batteries are, are uh, being discharged. Okay. Like they're not, or they're not charging to... To the full amount. So what should this be? 54. 54. It should yeah. always be 54. Yeah, if you put a real load on them, I mean, it's going to drop down. But like I said, if it's, you know, if there's no load on them and it's, say, the morning, or not the morning, obviously, but say middle of the day, uh, and that says, like, 47 volts or anything below 48, then there, that's an indication that your batteries have not fully charged or not fully charging. Okay. Um, charge controllers. Then you got charge controller breakers. Right here, to isolate these, and out of your charge controller, um, obviously these charge your batteries. PV in to here, out of the charge controller to your batteries. Okay. And this is the battery coming in here, <coughs> and this is the battery breakers. And this is a, also a master off switch. For some reason, you had to turn the whole thing off because this, these will invert without the solar. They'll just like at night, right? So that's what they do. So if you want to turn everything off, get it here. Okay. This one comes to the, from the... From the solar. From yes. the solar. This one goes... That one comes from the batteries. From the batteries. Yes, sir. From the solar. Where does it go to the batteries? Here also? Well, yeah, there's a big there's a big bus bar in here that these are bolted, that all this is bolted to. Oh, okay. So two in from the batteries. Two, yeah, exactly. Here. From the solar here. Yes. And this is the AC side here. So if you were to be grid tied, this this would be reversed here. Um, and this, I believe, is going to be your generator breaker. Once we get the generator. Once you get the generator. Okay. And then this is your mate here, and this is what you know the brain basically, so to speak. And when your generator comes in, I'll come out. The I believe. I need to get some more Cat5 wire for the charge controllers. You can plug your charge controllers into your hub, into your hub here, and control everything from the mate. Right now, you can just you can just set up the inverters and look at stuff, but you can't control your charge controllers yet because I forgot the Cat5 that I have sitting on my desk. But it'll be all plugged into the hub. And you can do everything from there. Okay, so this will be our main. Yeah. Our main thing to work off of. Right, and you, you know, all this, uh, your manual for that mate, it would be a good idea to to learn or to look at it at least so you know know what it's telling you and how you can change things if you need to. Okay. So, I mean, that's, that's the basics of it. And then everything ties into the... Right, yeah. Out. 
out here. AC. AC out into your load center. Okay. It's 240. Yeah, so each one of these is a, is a 120 leg. All right, so, so these have been green, except for one time at night we had a, a drop to yellow. What that is, if I'm not mistaken, is, so this is a slave to this one. If your load is real light, it'll shut this one off. Okay. And it'll only, only, because there's a transform here, transformer in here also. So even though it's receiving one leg, it'll, trans, it'll hit the transformer and have 240 out. So, let's say no sun, running full low battery all the time, how long? Three days is what I built for, uh, for autonomy. Three days. In the wintertime, which is your no lowest, sun. yeah, which is like the worst month, December is the worst month, so three days, no sun. You're awesome. Sweet. When you could do even more than that, but it's 50% uh, depth of discharge. So if you really want it, if you really needed something, you can you can uh, program your mate here, and it'll let you go lower than 50%. It's just not advisable. But once we have the generator, then we're, it won't matter. We're, it won't matter. We're all good. Yep. Sweetness. Okay. Positive when it was only negative. Whew. I started because it was bright. Okay. Yeah, I would say you need to add some water to these. Definitely. Do you have any distilled water? We do. So do you got to do check each one and add yeah. each yeah. one? They're, they're independent cells. Okay. They're independent. So uh, how much water do you put in there? Uh, so on the yellow thing, about an inch below it is, well, there's a little red. Right. You, I think it's I red. I can see that red. Well, you can see the red sort of holes there, but above that, on the underneath side of the yellow thing, is an is a little lip. There's a little lip. Right, right. So closed system. Handle down. This goes off. Yes, sir. So we cut off the PV cells. And then come in here and cut off your charge controller. These two down. Okay. And then you can turn your battery off. These two down. So charge controller off first. And battery. batteries off second. And but then, go inside and turn the AC off. Yeah, I would cut the AC off. You don't want to, you know, it's not healthy for them. Because also, if you turn it back on, you don't want your AC to be to kick on immediately. Either. So take it off from the breaker side? Or just go in the house and turn it off or turn it off the breaker, yeah. Okay. Okay, so with closed system, we get the voltmeter and it's between 2.1 and 2.12 volts per cell. So we'll just measure across one of the cells with a closed system, right? Yeah, exactly. And your specific gravity here is open system no 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 load on it okay open so system 1.26 to 1.28 1.28 1.28 1.28 but that's without adding fresh water to it so we need to let this stabilize for a week right before i do that all right